Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you all of the fall polishes I picked up from the China Glaze Ready to Wear 2018 collection, the OPI Peru fall collection, and also the China Glaze Paint It Back Halloween collection. So this is the um, congratulations to myself haul I talked about in the other video. I ordered all these polishes from Trans Design. Um, if anyone's interested, I'll put Trans Design down below. I like ordering from Trans Design when I know I'm going to get like a ton of polish just because the shipping is a little bit high. But you can get China Glazes for like $3.25 on there, OPIs are $4.99. So to me, like the little bit of extra shipping, it doesn't bother me because I feel like the polish prices are low. And then if you get a lot of polish, it's worth it because it stays around, I want to say shipping is around $11. But if you're going to get like 20 polishes or something like that, I think that works out kind of fair. Um, and I've never had any problems with their website. I've never received polishes like not properly packaged that come broken um, or anything like that. So I highly recommend Trans Design. I like that site. Um, sometimes they are late to get collections, but I don't mind waiting around because I know that I like them. And uh, you guys, I forgot to tell you. So I got to 500 subscribers on YouTube and I just wanted to say thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. And I also got to 800 um, followers on Instagram. So I definitely think it is time to do like a celebration giveaway. I don't know what yet. I'm going to be thinking and then when I figure it out, I will make an announcement on what that's going to be. But just thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. Um, um, so what I ended up doing is um, I have all the polishes that I bought and then I look through my collection for things that I thought were close to dupes and I put those next to them on the nail wheel just and I'm going to talk about the polishes I think that are close right away instead of waiting till the end. So um, I have one wheel here that just has two polishes because I ran out here. So I'll talk about this first, but you guys look at the colors on this wheel. It is like just oh, so fall, so pretty, so excited. Um, so the first nail wheel is going to be these two blues. And I wanted to thank Karen from the Sinfully Polished Facebook page. She actually purchased these and sent them to me because I have not been able to, um, well, I don't know if I'm going to be able to find these or not because I heard they're not coming to Walgreens. I don't know if that's true or not. This all goes back to like simple colors just being ridiculous with how they're releasing polishes. They don't give any information. You don't know what's going to what stores, what's exclusive, what's not. Um, so these have been spotted at the I believe it's called Mayhair. I don't know how you pronounce it. We don't have one here. These have been spotted there only for now. Um, on the Simply Polished Facebook page, though, it looked like someone found them in their Walmart. I was at my Walmart yesterday just buying random things, and I did not see the um, display with these polishes in them. So keep an eye out at your Walmart. Um, they may be coming there. I don't know. Um, but no one has spotted these at Walgreens yet. So my Walgreens actually finally got the Halloween collection, but I still have not found the Trend Matters collection at my Walmart. So I don't know if that's coming or not coming, um, but these polishes were not in any of the collections that people have been seeing at Walgreens. So I just wanted to say that. Um, maybe they'll come to Walgreens, I don't know, but um, I wanted them and I didn't want to miss out, so I did want to thank her for um, sending them to me. They are so, so pretty. Okay, um, so the first polish on the nail wheel that I'm going to show you is the one that I just bought. And this is called Spark from Simple Colors. Um, this is a limited time polish. This is not matte. These are creams. And you guys, this is a really, really pretty... Um, I'm not going to call it a true navy because I don't feel that it's like dark enough to be a true navy. Especially once I put it on the nail wheel. But it is like a navy leaning blue. And you guys, it is so, so pretty. Look at that it's a little bit of a teal leaning navy um not like a true true navy but look at that on the nails so 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 pretty perfect for fall so this is something in my collection that I did think was similar they are pretty pretty close um what you're seeing on camera is what I'm seeing in person and this one here is going to be china glaze jagged little teal um I believe this came out too falls ago and um you guys i love this polish when i bought it i wore it a bunch of times 
I ended up getting it on clearance. I didn't buy it like as soon as the collections came out, but when I found it on clearance, I probably wore it like two or three times during that fall because I just thought it was so, so pretty. So in the bottle, um, you can tell they're not exact dupes. This is definitely more of a green and this is more of a blue. And this is also slightly lighter than this one. And I think that that shows true on the nail wheel. Um, so this is the simple colors and then again this is jagged little teal from china glaze and so you can definitely see here i think that this leans more green and it is just like a touch touch lighter than the simple colors but they are very similar um if this isn't a color you know that you think you're gonna wear a lot or you're not sure if you're gonna like and you already have one i don't think you need both um because they are extremely extremely similar the formula on the jagged little teal from china glaze i think is really good it's two coats to get opaque for me um the simple colors did seem to have a very very good formula on the nail wheel um this is only one coat um things obviously apply way easier on the nail wheel but if it's one coat on here you could probably get away with two coats on the nails that's what i'm guessing so um very similar in formula very close in color but you know they are not exact dupes for sure so if you're like me and you like things that are similar um go for both i think they're both really really pretty so let's go on to the more crowded nail wheel um so i have two polishes on the wheel here that do not have any that i do not have anything in my collection that's um close to being dupes the first one is from the china glaze halloween collection um called paint it black and this one is called night and slay look at this freaking polish oh my gosh so it is a glitter mix um it can get opaque on its own in probably two to three coats this is two coats on the nail wheel um it has black glitter silver glitter and holographic glitter um the formula on this was very very thick i will add thinner to this before i try and wear it as an actual manicure but a lot of these china glaze um micro glitters do get very thick over time um but i just add um i always add orly thinner i never put in like beauty secrets um that they have at sally's or any other kind i know orly is a thinner that is safe for glitter so if i'm putting a thinner into a glitter it is always orly um that's just how i do it but um this is really really pretty you guys i think this is gonna look gorgeous incorporated in a halloween mani and i also think it would be really pretty on its own just like a full out sparkle mani i love these china glaze micro glitters i've told you guys that before i think they're super super pretty um it does dry textured so it probably is going to require a couple of thick coats a top coat if you don't want the textured look and that's how i'm going to wear mine I, I won't leave it textured i'll i'll do um thick coats a top coat on that just to get i feel like it gets more um sparkly and shiny with the top coat so i always top coat my china glaze micro glitters um so if you did not or you haven't been paying attention to the collections coming out the paint it black for halloween is basically a bunch of different versions of black polish um they have like a matte black they have a all black micro glitter they, they have this one they have a kind of like blacked out green it was like an interesting collection but i don't i don't know if i love it like i usually really feel like china glaze does such great halloween collections and this one left me wanting a little bit more variety, I feel like. The matte black looked really pretty. I did debate that, but I thought you have black polish, you have matte top coat, so do you need a matte polish bottle? Probably not. Um, and everything else, they had a black holographic, which I thought looked really pretty, but I have some of those from um, Colors by LaRoe that I'm sure are way more holographic, so I didn't get that one. Um, but I did get one more from this collection, and I will show you that one next. So this one is called Wicked Liquid and this is kind of like a metallic black green kind of gold. It's a really, really pretty polish. Um, it is very unique. When I first saw this, it actually reminded me of Cast a Spell from China Glaze. This is one of my favorite Halloween polishes um, from China Glaze. But as you can tell... Um, 
it reminded me of it, but they are not even close to being dupes. Um, I almost didn't get this because I thought it was very, very similar to this. And I do have this polish and then another one from Salon Perfect that are very similar. And then I just thought, I'm going to try it for $325. Um, and I'm glad I did because they're not even close to each other. So let me show you those on the nail wheel. Um, so this one here is going to be two coats of Wicked Liquid. And this definitely has a more like smooth um, metallic type finish. I think with top coat that would really come across a lot better. I did not top coat any of these um, nails. And then this one here is going to be the Cast a Spell. And you can see that this green in this polish is a shimmer. Whereas this is more of, it's not a shimmer. I don't know what it is, but it's not a shimmer. This one is more of a shimmer. Um, from far, I do think they look kind of close. You can see that there is green in a darker black base, but um, close up, you can definitely see that this is shimmer and this is not shimmer. So I think this is really pretty. Um, I cannot wait to try it. I love darker like greenish type polishes like this around Halloween and in the fall. I just think they're really, really fun. Um, and this is like a favorite polish of mine. And so I think because it was like a similar look, I I decided I needed it. So that was um, Wicked Liquid from China Glaze. And then the other polish I have on this wheel that does not have a dupe is from the Ready to Wear Fall Collection from China Glaze. And this one is called Vest Friends, B-E-S-T. And this is like a kind of green polish with some shimmer like almost like a foil type finish. It's really, really pretty. Um, this was kind of the one too I was a little on the fence about because I just thought, is it unique? Is it interesting? Um, but I decided to get it and I think it's really, really pretty. Like I told you guys in one of my other, um, my last topic Tuesday, I love a foil look and I feel like this is sort of foily looking and that's just a really, really pretty color for fall. So I think this is really pretty. Um, this is two coats on the nail wheel. So hopefully the formula will be good um, on the nails. Okay, so I talked about those two. I talked about that one. Um, so the next China Glaze I'm going to show you is Central Parka. This is also from the Ready to Wear collection. So this is kind of like a army-ish green color. Uh, it's a cream. I love, love, love colors like this in the fall. I have a lot already. And so I was like, should I get this? And you guys know how it goes. Like, of course I should get it. That's what I tell myself. Like, you don't want to miss out. So of course you should get it. I mean, so I got it. And so this is going to be two coats of that on the nail wheel. It's really, really pretty. It's a really pretty army green. The formula seemed very, very smooth and very opaque on the nail wheel. So I think it's going to be for sure no more than a two quarter on the nails. And then um, what I pulled to show you as a comparison is um, Uh Oh, Roll Down the Window from OPI. And this came out in the Shrek collection. This is a very, very pretty polish. Um, this is one of the first polishes I picked up once I started like growing my collection. And I do really enjoy it. I think it's super, super pretty. And um, so here's two coats of that on the nail wheel. So you can see that this China Glaze, they're not exact. They are very, very close. This has a touch more green where I feel like this is a little bit more, um, maybe has like more yellow in it because it's not as green as this one. It's just a little bit of a different color. And then let me show you bottle shots. Um, and you can kind of see that here too. Like this seems more green. This just has like a little bit of something. I don't know what color. I'm going to say yellow, but it takes it away from being as green as this one. Um, so I have a few more that people may be wondering. Are they similar? I didn't want to waste up a ton of space on the nail wheel, but I'll show you guys bottle comparisons just so you can see. Um, so this is Sinful Colors Bow Khaki. Let me shake it up because it looks kind of ugly. Um, so here are these two side by side. Um, this is definitely a lighter green than this one. They are extremely similar as well. Um, but this, this is just definitely lighter. 
And then the other one that I kind of thought of, but then now that I got them side by side, I was like, yeah, these aren't even close at all. This is Stay Off My Lawn by OPI from the Kerry Washington collection. This is a ton, ton darker. This is definitely more of like a forest type green. This is definitely more army. So those are not close at all, if you were wondering about that one. And then I have another polish called Khaki from Simful Color. Um, I don't know why I thought these were even going to be close, but um, this is way, way lighter than this. So I definitely think my closest polish to it is going to be the uh, uh Oh Roll Down the Window from OPI. But not exact. So I don't know. I mean, I'll leave that up to you guys whether you think you need both or not. But they are very similar. So the next polish I picked up is um mustard the courage from china glaze so this was a polish that i was kind of on the fence about just because i don't know if it's going to look good on my skin tone and there was a similar polish and polish pickup that was based off the lion king by colores de carol that i was debating and then I decided against it because I was like, if you buy it and you don't like it, that was just a big waste of money. So when this came out and it was only $3.25, I was like, well, I'm going to try it for that price. And um, it's really, really pretty. It was funny because when I got it out of the box, I was showing it to my husband and he's like, I guess if you want your nails to look like spicy mustard, that's a nice color. And I was like, okay. Um, it's interesting. I don't have anything like this. Well a lie so now that i picked up the simple colors um i have two polishes that are like this but these are the only two i have avoided this type of color for a long time because i just was not sure this isn't a color that i am sure looks good on me like i've told you guys before neutrals are really hard for me just because um it's hard for me to pick a good neutral with my skin tone i feel like i look better in brights or like jewel tones and neutrals i really have to like see on the nail before I'm like yes or no so that makes it kind of hard but um the formula on this seemed really nice and smooth and opaque on the nail wheel and this is two coats of mustard the courage from china glaze so what do you guys think do you think that that looks cute I mean it's only one nail so it's kind of hard to tell but I don't know I'm gonna have to put on a full mani to make a final final decision on this but it's not horrible. I mean, I don't think. If you guys think it's horrible, tell me. <laughs> but um, it's very interesting polish. And I just think it looks so, so perfect for fall. So I hope I like it on me because... Or maybe I'll just wear it even if it's ugly. Like, whatever, you know. Who's going to walk up to me and be like, your nails look hideous? Hopefully nobody. <laughs> Somebody might, but hopefully not. Um, so the polish I'm going to show you to compare is going to be the simple colors I just got and this is called shout This is also not a matte polish. Um, this is a cream and this one I feel is just a tad more gold um, This has like more of a yellow tone to it whereas Or not yellow, I guess it to me it's more gold looking and where this is just more definitely mustard so these are I'm not even going to say they're similar. Um, I put them by each other because they're the only two polishes of this color type that I have. But um, to me, like if you want both, you need both. So let me show you that other simple colors on the nail wheel. So you can see this is definitely much more gold. I think this is less of a question if I like it or not because I do think it looks nice with my skin tone um, than the mustard. And the formula on this also did seem nice. This is two coats on the nail wheel. I really like that, you guys. I think that's going to be super, super pretty for fall. Very pretty. And again, that was called Shout. So the next one I have is going to be from China Glaze Fall Ready to Wear as well. And this is called Sample Size Me Up. And oh, you guys, I am in love with this blue. Um, so... So I told you guys I'm a sucker for blues. I thought this was going to be a little more bright just based on swatch pictures I had seen. And I'm glad it's not. Um, I like it for what it is. And this was kind of what I was hoping it was. is a more fall type blue. blue. 
um, formula and this seemed very very nice this is two coats I think I could have almost gotten away with one on the nail wheel so for sure on the actual nails I think you can do two look at that blue isn't that just perfect for fall like perfect I am in love with this color so in love um it's not like a lot of the other blues I have because I feel like those are more summertime blues and like more pastel and I love that this is just a touch darker than a pastel because I just think it makes it very, very fall appropriate. Um, and then the next. The next polish I have is going to be from the OPI Fall Collection. So when I pulled these out of the bottle, my husband was like, those are the same polish. And I was like. They're not the same, obviously. Like this one is lighter and this one is darker. This is more green. This is more blue. Um, I guess to anybody who isn't so obsessed, they're extremely similar. But I know for all of you guys, like this is not the same polish. So I did want to show you guys those by each other. Um, and this one is called Alpaca My Bags. I thought that was so a cute name, Alpaca. <laughs> um, but this is really, really, really pretty. I love this type of like just grayed out greenish gray. Super, super pretty for fall. Um, the formula on this did seem nice. This is two coats on the nail wheel. You Look at that. It's so, so, so pretty. I have things I thought were similar and then when I kind of got them out they weren't as similar as I thought this kind of reminded me of check out the old geysers by OPI which let me pull for you um I thought they'd be a lot more similar than they are but this is definitely a way lighter and then of course this has the blue shimmer in it um I thought the base colors would be closer and they're not so if you do have this and it did remind you they are not similar I mean, they are, but those are two totally different polishes in my, you know, in my honest opinion. Like, if you like both, you need both. And then, um, the closest thing I had to both of these polishes is from Sally Hansen, Complete Salon Manicure. And this is called Gray by Gray. You guys, I love this polish. So, this is Gray by Gray by Sally Hansen. And let me show it to you. Let me give you bottle shots of these three. And I'll put the Sally Hansen in the middle. Um, so I feel like these are definitely very different. This is a lot lighter than this. Um, so I'm going to pull this out. And then on the nail wheel, you'll see in the bottle um, or in person. In person compared to camera, these look more similar to me than they are showing up on camera. Um, but this is definitely more blue. This is more kind of gray but I will show them to you on the nail wheel. So this is going to be the Gray by Gray by Sally Hansen. Let me double check that name. Yes, Gray by Gray. So, I mean, they're similar looks. Then next up is the purple I got from Simple Colors, and this is called Spirited. So this is a really, really nice, I feel fall appropriate purple. Um, it's not as bright as like a summer purple. I do think that it has a tone that does keep it more fall. So when I messaged Karen, I was mostly interested in the yellow. And then she told me, well, I have all three that are ex only being found at um, at the May hair stores. And so I was like, twist my arm, Karen. Let me have all three. Because that's what polished people do. And so I am so glad that I decided and she convinced me to grab these other two because I think they are very, very nice for fall. But this purple... I really really like it and I think that this is very nice for fall look at that I mean just oh so pretty I love that with my skin tone I think that's gonna look super nice like if I don't have any nail breaks I love colors like this on longer nails but if you have shorter nails too I think this is gonna be just as pretty on shorter nails so the dupe I pulled I think is extremely similar this is vivid violet this is Vivid Violet from the Crayola Sally Hansen Insta Dry. These came out, I think, last year. Um, last year around this time or the holidays. Um, and this is a gorgeous, gorgeous polish, you guys. The formula on this is almost a one-coater. It's amazing. 
and you can see there those are extremely extremely close um i do feel like this is a little bit more um this is like kind of grayed out compared to this but very very close and i think on the nail wheel they look even closer so this is the sally hansen here so i mean totally up to you if you have the sally hansen I think that's really, really close. I'll leave that up to you guys how close you think it is. So the next polish I have is going to be from OPI um, Fall, which was Peru Collection, if I didn't say that. And this is called Susie Will Quetcha Later. I don't know. I don't know what that name means. Um, I don't know what a Quetcha is. But this polish, you guys. So when I saw it, it definitely... When I saw it, it definitely reminded me of Lucky Lucky Lavender from OPI, which I told you guys is one of my favorite OPI polishes of all time. And it is one of the polishes that kind of started my polish obsession. So I went back and forth as to whether I needed this polish. And then when I got on Trans Design, I just I threw it in the cart. So I did pull out Lucky Lucky Lavender for you guys to see as a comparison. This is more pink and it's also darker. But they are a similar look, but I did want to show you that just because I talk about Lucky Lucky Lavender so much. This is the um, Susie Will Quetcha Later. I am in love with this. Um, I think this is a perfect polish for spring, summer, and fall. So, so, so pretty. The formula seemed super, super nice on the nail wheels. This is two coats on the nail wheel. And then this one here is going to be the Lucky Lucky Lavender. So even on the nail wheel, you can definitely see this is lighter and this has more pink. Um, but similar, depending how close you like your polishes to be, very, very similar. Then I also picked up from the OPI Peru collection, Seven Wonders of OPI. And this is kind of like a neutral, but a purple pinkish toned neutral. So this just looked really, really pretty on the swatch pictures I saw, so I decided to get it. And let me show you these two. Um, this is obviously way more pink, darker. Um, very, very similar, especially to come out in the same collection, but very, very pretty. I mean, they suckered me in to buy them, so they know what they're doing. And then this is going to be the Seven Wonders of OPI on the nail wheel. You guys, look at that freaking polish. Oh my gosh. So pretty. So fall. Oh, I am just, I love this. I'm not a big, big neutral person, but I just feel like that is so, so, so pretty. Um, and then here you can kind of see the three of them against each other. These two are definitely closer. This is more of a neutral um, and let me show you that compared to Topless Beach, just because that polish popped into my head right now. So this is more purple than Topless Beach. This is definitely more of like a taupe, taupeish brown, but I just thought I would show you that. And then the last polish I picked up from the OPI Fall Collection is going to be My Solar Clock is Ticking. When I saw this on the swatch pictures, I was like, you need that. Um, I love a good, um, like they call them grandma color polish. I love a good grandma color polish. Um, and this did remind me of that. And then I thought it was interesting to my collection. But when I came in here and started looking for dupes, I have something extremely similar. So let's talk about this first though. So look at that. It's like. like a peach, pink, red, all mixed together. I don't know how to describe that color, but it's really, really pretty. Um, the formula seemed very nice on the nail wheel. This is two coats. You guys, look at that, so pretty. Um, I love colors like this in the fall because I feel like I do lose my, you know, some of my tan when the fall comes around because I'm not outside all the time. But colors like this, I feel like give you a little bit of color or they make me look more tan in the fall when some of my tan has started to go. Look at this. So, so pretty. Then what I pulled for comparison, um, what I pulled, 
pulled for comparison is Teak Rose from Revlon. Look at that, so pretty. So this is a um, Revlon polish that's just, it's been around for a long time. Um, it's a gorgeous color. The formula, the formula is good. I do feel like the formula on the Revlon is thinner than the, um, my solar clock is ticking, but look at how close those are. This I feel has more of a berry tone where this is more peach and this is a tad darker, but extremely similar. And, um, there is the teak rose on the nail wheel. On the nail wheel, I think they look even closer than in the bottle. So this has the more berry for sure, though, the OPI. But very, very close, very similar look. So if you have the teak rose, very, very close. Um, so that is all of the polish I picked up from the fall OPI Peru collection, fall China Glaze Ready to Wear, and the China Glaze Paint It Back Halloween. Um, so like I mentioned in the last video, it's like a new polish overload. Um, I really, really need to slow down. I mean, that's just the bottom line. This, all this new polish has to be tried, worn, swatched. Um, so I'm kind of in, I'm kind of in an overwhelming place right now, actually. And, um, I don't ever say I can have a no buy because that just never works out for me. But what I'm hoping to do is an extreme low buy. I may still pick up a couple things from Polish Pickup just because they're limited edition and limited edition just suckers me in every single time. And um, besides that, I really need to just calm down. Like, that's just how it has to be. Just really focus on wearing all of this stuff because it's amazing and it needs to be loved. Like, it comes here and it gets no love. And that's not right. It's sad. Um, so I hope you all enjoyed seeing what I picked out of all these fall collections. And I hope you like my comparisons and dupes. I hope you found them helpful. Um, I know I love seeing comparisons and dupes when other people do them because sometimes it's like, well, I do have something very, very close. And then sometimes it doesn't help. I'm like, I want everything. So, or if you really like something and you're about to run out, you can be like, well, that's close. Maybe I'll pick that up. So, um, let me know what you guys got from the OPI Peru China Glaze Ready to Wear or China Glaze Halloween. I'm interested to know. If you all like my video, please make sure to click the like button down below. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do.